doing here is looking for some volunteers. We'd like to get some volunteers to go join their friends in the time lapse bin and help with uh, hopefully speeding up the whole process over there at the time lapse bin. So I'm going to collect some brave volunteers to join the effort, help move forward the activity in the time lapse bin. And the fun part here is actually getting to look for look for participants. So I figured just bring everyone along for the ride. See, it would also kind of double as a spot check on the bins. I think we're like somewhere in week seven, maybe. I know we did a one month check when this these bins were one month old. They definitely, uh, oops. it definitely feels to me like, I'll give them a little somewhere to hide. It feels like things are moving along really nicely in all these bins. So I didn't want to, I don't want to tap too hard into any one bin, so that's why I just wanted to do a quick skim through, pick out a handful of, volunteers and take them over to the time-lapse bin so they can continue their work there definitely liking what I'm seeing here all kinds of lively healthy looking worms of all sizes Material seems to be breaking down nicely. Everything's got a nice dampness to it. Just a real neutral odor. No different from the smell of fresh dirt in your garden. Ooh, this looks like a spot where we had a lot of a lot of new little guys. This must have been little nursery over here I think we had a, a feeding was over in this area so then this just must have been a congregation of a family coming down to the the well-fed area to grab a bite. All kinds of wormies here of all sizes, large and small. Trying to trick them into thinking that the this little pile of compost here is the place to be. So they'll burrow into that. I like their feisty attitude. <laughs> Stay. If I just grab a handful and bring it up to the top, look at that. All kinds of volunteers here to help join the cause. Thank you, everyone, for raising your hands. Okay. Seems like a nice. Nice lively bunch to represent this bin. The bin itself seems nice, nice and healthy also. This is actually the second bin that I've now um, recruited volunteers from. So I figured when I was working on the first bin I realized, man, this would be good stuff that the YouTubers might enjoy. So I went upstairs to grab the camera. In fact, two cameras this time, two points of view. 
kind of new approach for me. So we'll take a look at how that turns out. So let's go ahead and move these guys over to their their new assignments. dropped, air dropped. Hopefully these guys will all settle down into down into the bin and get to work. Help their fellow worms down below make some make some movement on this bin. Action started. This is a good sign where the trench is still visible where the feeding was last done. So this will be a good place to start our enlisting of volunteers. Here too I should just give a little cover so it doesn't feel so scary and exposed for the little guys. see on the camera. Hopefully the, the light's enough to allow a view into a little bit of what's happening here. This feels like if I grab down below and bring up a chunk of ground or chunk of material it'll be well populated. This bin is very uh, very densely populated I think. I can pretty much probe down anywhere I like. I'm going to try to keep the appearance of a trench. You can see where the feeding last occurred. Maybe feed elsewhere next go around. Let's grab some chunks here and see what we get. Lots of little guys everywhere. I like what I'm seeing. The only thing I'm not sure of is when I look at it, a lot of this brown material is whether it is worm castings or if it's the coffee that I put in. Or is, you know, is the is the coffee such that they love it and as soon as it goes in it's as good as gone or is it possible that this is a mixture or a high concentration of coffee grinds I'm seeing in here? It'd be nice to think that it's all castings already, but I'm skeptical, so I, I pro, I'm prone to assume that. Come back here. 
and I might not be as far along as I think I am. This is It's interesting when you pet, pet, grab some of this uh, cardboard, this corrugated, stuck together. You could feel them in between the layers. They feel like biomass, or at least what feels that way. Maybe it's just dampness, who knows. But I do like the appearance of all these little guys everywhere, little tiny, tiny, tiny worms, which to me look like, you know, newly hatched babies which seems to suggest that the inhabitants like where they're at I definitely like what I'm seeing here it almost seems like we almost have enough to do another airdrop into the time-lapse bin Pick out a few more ambitious volunteers. Looks like a lot of people are go interested in going. A lot of guys are interested in going AWOL, and that will not do. Thank you very much. Worms everywhere. This is such fun. It's like, it's like you sort of have hopes for what they'll do for you, and then when you really see it coming, coming happening in real life, it's just really sharp, really cool. Fun to watch. Look at all these wormies. Love it, man. Just one, one more. Last round of volunteers to add to our bunch. And we'll throw them in too and see how they're going to acclimate. Hopefully nicely like the previous groups did. guys over introduce them to their new post to their new uh, assignment very nice I like what I'm seeing here 